Yeah, so everything's done through here. We have uh, this uh, project funded from two sources, uh, by an NSF, National Science Foundation project, and uh, or grant, and by um, a NASA uh, grant. Um, that provide both uh, support for hardware and for uh, graduate students. Uh, the goals that we want to accomplish with, uh, with this uh, system uh, are multiple, but all related to studying forest and uh, forest health and uh, forest uh, three-dimensional structure. Uh, with the NSF uh, project, we look into assessing um, uh, the risk of fires, uh, forest fires, uh, mapping fuel loads, um, and uh, with the NASA project, we look at uh, mapping uh, forest uh, biophysical parameters like biomass and uh, carbon, and that's uh, related to climate studies and how uh, trees respond to climate change and how much carbon they sequester and how much growth uh, there uh, occurs. So um, the advantage of the system is that um, we can collect data uh, when we want it, depending on our needs, uh, how we wanted it, customized to, to our needs, and in a cost-effective uh, manner without having to spend on aerial uh, acquisitions, airborne acquisitions, or on uh, satellite uh, data. So uh, it's uh, really a cost-effective uh, uh, way of uh, acquiring uh, highly specialized and customized uh, research data that uh, we can use for other projects for calibrating uh, remote sensing observations even from uh, space or from uh, airborne platforms. Our developments really uh, ride on this uh, uh, high interest that we see these days in uh, UAV systems that are used in, in uh, or uh, at least developed for future use in uh, many areas, from uh, mapping floods to uh, mapping uh, fires and uh, monitoring them in real time uh, from low altitudes without exposing uh, aircraft or uh, people to uh, dangerous situations. Um, and the need for automated data uh, collection and monitoring uh, in many fields, including forests. Um, we are now in the process of uh, developing the system itself, um, the sensors that go on board uh, of the system, uh, multispectral cameras and LIDAR, uh, a LIDAR sensor, and uh, then uh, the algorithmic uh, processing of such data to extract what uh, we need uh, information, like I mentioned, on uh, forest uh, dimensions or uh, fire uh, monitoring.